we're now going to edit pages so we click into the page screen up top we have the page number that we're editing the full name and the nickname go ahead and use your tab keys to highlight you can go ahead and change your name if you so choose and um, so that is what we have displayed up here if we go into the sorter we could do the same thing we did for presets and uh, IA slots earlier and songs we can go ahead and double click if we want to get to something real quick so we can very quickly pick a, pre um, a page that we're trying to edit uh, so that's an obvious function but you can also uh, move things around just by dragging and dropping and all the same rules apply inserting records deleting them cut copy and pasting saving them if you want to make a change or just exit if you don't so that's the top bar here there are, for each page you have uh, two defaults what color you want the status light to be when you switch to this page if any um, and then whether this page is going to process IA switches uh, as um, dynamic IA buttons or not this section right here uh, allows you to program a specific button and give it the two functions and then set the parameters for it. A couple ways to find the button that you're trying to edit. Right now we're editing button one on pa on this page. Uh, there are up to 60 buttons that you can program. You can scroll up and down and it'll change based on which button you're on. But you'll notice down here that as I'm scrolling uh, this green ball is scrolling as well so if I want to very quickly get to a button I can go ahead and just click the green button so in this case I jump to button 36 and you'll see it changed so I'll go back to one uh, select your options uh, as you normally would for this particular button and there are two ways to edit and modify buttons uh, so we can go ahead and select what, what this button is going to do so in this case it's set for a function and then we can go ahead and tell it what the function is pretty straightforward here's an empty slot so I can assign it an IA switch and then pick which IA switch I want it to control and we're done there so that's pretty straightforward so that's how you do it button by button and you kinda map out your functions based on what your needs are for the page if you want to look at a whole view of the page so in this case page number four I can go ahead and click the magnifier and now what I have is a representation of every single button and what the two functions are. So in this particular page I only program buttons 1 through 12 because I happen to be using a liquid foot 12 plus and it doesn't have expanders um, so I haven't programmed all 60 buttons for this particular page. But uh, this is a pretty powerful screen just like the preset sorter uh, where you can move things around uh, we can now move things around on the page just as quick and there are two ways to do that uh, with this button X'd out that means we're gonna move buttons at a time by dragging and dropping so I'm gonna move this button which is now set for two over to one so if I click and I drag it they now swapped with each other so I can go ahead and swap them back and this is unlimited you can move it anywhere on all 60 pages so you can see it just swapped those two so I'll go ahead and put that back now if I want to drag single functions only I go ahead and click this button and now I can drag either the first or the second function and move it to any other first or second function so let's say we wanted to move um, preset up and we wanted to move it uh, to button number 15 but the second function I can go ahead and do that now I just swapped the second function for so wherever you start it'll drop it and it'll swap the two out so instead of grabbing a whole button and swapping now I can just grab the bottom and move it to where the none is so here I have pitch down here and none there and then I can move it back now when you're dragging and dropping when you click on something and move it uh, you'll see a little graphic that's a, in this case it says ID 1 so that means we're moving function number 1 now if you wanted to swap the two, go ahead and grab it, bring it down to the bottom, and you'll see that we just swapped it. So that's it, we're done, this is live. So if I go ahead and click on this button now, you'll see that it brought the pitch and the preset button, it, or it made the programming change for me. So I'll go ahead and change that back. Whoops, gotta turn individuals on. 
and um, away we go. So that's uh, really straightforward. Now, this uh, screen, so that's how you swap and sort, and then if you just wanted a view. Now, if you wanted to go to a particular button to edit it, let's say I wanted uh, button number 12, just double click it, and it'll take you right to button number 12. So this screen is not just a sorter and a selector. Uh, again, up here, we can go to a particular page, and then down here, we can look at the page and go to a particular button. So we can select a button down here, we could select a button through here, we can do all sorts of cut, copy and pasting and so forth, and uh, so it's very, very quick uh, to program uh, pages. So that's how we program pages.